Hello, this is Torino. Uh, today is the 8th of November, 2022. And I'm here in the Philippines, specifically uh, province of Tayabas, city of Tayabas, province of Quezon in southern Luzon. And uh, just getting our feet wet here. We've been here about a month taking care of a lot of administrative things, driver's license, uh, permits, applications, uh, trying to get a handle on our shipment, uh, which is, some of it's close by and some of it's still in Manila. But I'm here uh, in between all of that. We, we're here at the lot of our proposed garage. Um, this is uh, by, you know, about a quarter mile from where we're staying at Nanette's mother's house. And this property here is going to be a one-story garage with a concrete roof and uh, ceiling so we can also have a viewing deck on top. Uh, we're just getting started here. We've got an engineer working on our final plans for the foundation and uh, electrical mechanical type plans. We've had a geodesic engineer also uh, come out and verify the uh, property lines and uh, the placement of new property markers. Uh, behind me we we have the construction of a, uh, a barracks for the workers and also uh, a place to store the materials while we're undergoing the building process. Uh, if you can see behind me, this is this is the lot. Uh, I'll turn the camera around so we can get a better look at it. Here's a better view of of the lot as I walk around. Uh, again, we just started the the process constructing the. The barracks, what we call the barracks, this will be where we'll, we'll put a lot of the material, keep it safe. There will also be one of our workers will stay here 24-7 once we get started. Uh, we started purchasing some cocoa lumber. Uh, this lumber here is made from, uh, uh, as you might guess, coconut trees. Uh, lumber you may be used to in the West uh, isn't readily available. It, it, it's, it sells, but the typical 2x4s, 2x6, 2x12 that you might be used to in the U.S. Uh, aren't really available, and if they are, they're very expensive. As, as it happens, this coca lumber itself is uh, very pricey, especially the last uh, year. The prices, inflation have gone up for building materials here. Uh, so what we have here is a is a corner lot. The lot is itself is 129 square meters. Uh, on the corner here in this, this subdivision where they have roads uh, and some lots sold, but this part of the subdivision hasn't really taken off as far as construction. But uh, Nanette has purchased this a long time ago back in I want to say 90, 97? No, 90, uh, 90, 93 or 94 is when she actually purchased the lot. So we just started the clearing process. Uh, over the years, it's become kind of a dump. Some people have been dumping trash here, but uh, one of our first tasks is going to be skimming uh, the lot, getting rid of the trash do some a uh, little bit of grading before we, we start uh, laying out the foundation uh, we have removed a lot of the larger tree roots already uh, but uh, we're still waiting on the engineer to finish his part of the final plan uh, what we're looking at is uh, it's going to be an almost rectangle uh, garage and my plan is uh, I sent it back to him because what I wanted was instead of columns inside the garage this 
to formulate a way to reduce columns inside the garage so it has a more open plan. So that's it for today and I will try to update you as progress continues.